Hi guys, it's Heather and I am back today with a card tutorial. We're going to be making this adorable floral card. It opens up like this. Just wanted to say I love that we are friends. I thought that was just really pretty. I love this paper. Um, I made a card similar to this last month for a demonstrator swap. And I used the layering circles uh, dies that are retiring. So if you like those, I highly suggest you get those. I use those all the time and they're going bye bye. But there will be other dies I'm sure that you'll like just as well when they come out. But I, I think the basics, the squares, the rectangles, the circles, especially the circles are a great investment for any card maker. But anyway, this paper um, is also retiring. It is from the June through May mini catalog and it is called Regency Park. It's a pack of six by six. Let me pull this back a little bit so I can just flip through real quick. It is adorably, just beautiful florals for any type cards. There's stripes in there too and other patterns. Um, not only, you know, you can make use also, I guess, to make masculine cards, which I thought about after the fact. I'll show you the back side. The back side of this floral is this cool stripe. That would be great on a masculine card. Maybe we'll do that next week. We'll see. But anyway, I thought this would be a great fun fold card to um, come back. I know it's been a while since I've posted a tutorial. I apologize. I have been crafting. I've been making things. Um, started back with classes, but life just interferes, and I had, was having a lot of time time problems. Um, having you know restrictions where I couldn't, I just didn't have the time to sit down and actually make the video tutorials. Um, but I have adjusted my schedule um, and I have actually <laughs> carved out a place to make tutorials. So um, I'm back. Um, you can be expecting one every week. So let's get started with today's. First thing we're going to need is a piece of Whisper White thick cardstock. This is eight and a half by five and a half. So it is an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock cut in half. You're going to score it on the eight and a half side at um, four and a quarter. So let's go ahead and fold our card base. There we go, done. Then you are also going to need a piece of balmy blue. And the balmy blue measures five and a quarter by eight. And then you're going to score it at four inches and six inches. And then you're gonna fold it at the four inch towards the left. And then at the six inch score line, you're gonna fold it towards the right. And this is going to be the inside of our card. You're also going to use um, two pieces of the, uh, the DSP. I chose the floral and the yellow. I love this yellow polka dot. I mean, we could have done anything. I could have done the stripes, you know, whatever, but I just thought the yellow was happy and cheerful. And when you cut your paper down, I'm looking for it now, and of course there isn't, there's going to be a strip left over. <laughs> Maybe. I just had it sitting out. Well, that was rude. We'll have to cut another one. Anyway, that's what um, your leftover little piece is what you're going to use down here at the bottom. And let me see if I have a ruler. I can just quickly, you know what? Let me just get my paper trimmer. I want to cut that off real quick. I want to put it on now. Okay. So this piece down at the bottom, I know you can't see it, it's out of camera, so I'm just measuring it real quick, is four by four by one four by three quarters so let me grab my where's my little piece of paper go I just oops just pulled out nope that's not it oh there we go just go with three quarters first okay and then we're gonna go Four. This must have fallen off somewhere. First time I cut it. So. And then that is going to go 
right down here at the bottom. So that's four by three quarters of an inch. And let's just go ahead and, and put that on, shall we? So we can be done with it so <laughs> then I can't lose it again. And I always go down here to the corner along the side and then just follow the bottom. That always ensures, whoops, that it is straight. Try that again. You know what would really help you guys? If I put my glasses on. Good grief, where did I put them? All right, there we go. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay, so we are going to adhere this inside like this. Oops. Just a tad in the middle. Just a little bit. Now, when it's folded, it's going to open like this inside the card. So, holding it closed, just come right down here to the corner. You're going to line it up where you want it and make sure it's a card. But, um, all right, let's put this on the front and then we're going to do our stamping. Now, I didn't, am not using the layering circles dies this time. It has nothing to do with them retiring. I got my pre-order and I really wanted to try the new punches. I've got two new circle punches and I wanted to try them and this just seemed like the perfect card. So I figured why not. Okay, that's a little bit off. We'll put it that way. Because I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do it a little bit more at the top there's the bottom, but you know what, that's okay. Now, when we use these dies, um, not dies, I'm sorry. When we use the punches, there's going to be, um, it's not gonna be centered. The demonstrator card I made last month was centered. Um, right here. Let me see if I, I don't even have my other sample. Sorry guys, anyway. Um, it is, it was centered here. I'm putting it off to the side and that's because the punch doesn't reach in far enough and that's okay with for me because I'll tell you what, I really felt that having it off center like that was just adorable. I mean, and if you wanted to, you could tie a little ribbon, a little bow here, but I just thought that was just perfect the way it was, so. Let me go ahead here and we're gonna use the two and three eighths inch. So first of all, the punches come two inches and two and three eighths. Sorry about the light. <laughs> two inches and two and three eighths. We're gonna use the two and three eighths inch, eighths inch punch. Can't talk. To punch the circle in the front of the card. So I wrote the number on the back too so I could easily reference it. Go, Heather, go. Okay, so you're just gonna go in as far as you can with the punch. And you're gonna punch it. Now this is going through extra thick cardstock and two layers of DSP. So I'm going to, there we go. I'm gonna save this because I'm gonna use this on a different card later. I have one in mind. See? Okay, now you're going to grab um, a sheet of the yellow polka dot DSP and you're going to punch out one from the with the two and three eighths like that and we're done with this one so it can be set aside okay and then you're going to grab a scrap of whisper white which is right here and I went ahead and just punched out my circle to stamp on a lot of people will stamp and then punch out I, it doesn't matter either way you do it. This is just the way I prefer to do it. And we're done with this one. Two inch one can be put away. Put that out of the way. All right. Now the stamp set, sorry about that, camera moved. The stamp set that we are using today is the Country Bouquet. We're going to use the Just Wanted to Say, I Love That We Are Friends. Look, you can see the blue under my nail. I'm a crafter, I'm inky. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with uh, I love that we are friends. 
only because we can get that done and out of the way. It's going to go on the inside of the card. Get up, up and then you can put it wherever you want I'm just gonna put it right here in the middle I love that we have fans I'll set that to the side again I'm going to just take clean this just real quick to get that ink off okay take that off and let's switch out we're going to now use the I just wanted to say be a little trick with this we're going to put it on but we are we're going to use the knight of navy again but we're only going to ink it up so it just wanted is the only thing we're inking so here's what i do i'm hoping my head doesn't get in this sorry if it is i put just that part on the ink pad and i very slowly lower it and then i check more time because that D did not get enough. There we go. And you're going to take your circle and I kind of put it a little bit to the right, a little above halfway. Perfect. I did it. I did it. I did it. It's so exciting when it works out the way you want it to, especially on camera. Off camera, no problem. On camera, whole other story. I can't tell you how many times I've had to stop video and restart because or redo something because it just did not work. Okay, now it's to say is all we're inking up. See how it's just the to say? And I'm gonna just kind of put that. I'm gonna have to stand up to do this because I can't see that well. I want it underneath and to the right. And you wanna make sure that you clean your stamp and dry it in between. That way then the just want it has no ink on it and you don't get that somewhere over here and that's it that part's done now so let me put this aside okay so we're going to take the yellow polka dot we're just going to sit it right here so because i know that's where it's going to go because i just made sure i'm going to put some adhesive just little bits right there and I'm just going to put it right in the circle. Go right through. There we go. I'm going to open this up to put this on. And I'm going to use ooh, the last two. Good thing I only needed two. I have more, don't worry. I'm going to use two Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. Just like this. I'm going, what? Oh, I'm not. Did you see it just jump out of my hands and try to escape? Good grief. All right, I'm going to center it. There we go. And then we're going to use the blue adhesive back gems. These are still available. They are um, on the clearance rack. They're retiring. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have used so many of these over the last four months. I just love them. And they are especially great for masculine cards. Not going to lie. So, okay, I'm gonna take one of the small ones and we're gonna do the power of three. You know how I always harp on the power of three. Okay, so there's one. Two, one more. One more, Heather. And three. Oh, come on, just a little bit up. up. There you go. All right. Done with that. Done with these. And that's our card finished. It closes just like this. Wasn't that fun? It was quick, it was easy. Um, I really like this paper, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm actually think I'm gonna get a couple more packages of it. It is just, to me, it's just such a happy pack of paper. And y'all know I, I love paper, so. It is what it is, right? Anyway, for April, May, the hostess code is right here. I will also put it in my blog post for this. I will also list a cutting guide 
for um, the dimensions in that and a product list, of course. This is for April, May, 2023, and I wrote that down here. Someone asked me if I would please put that um, so that when they go back and they're watching my videos, they'll know if it's still current or not. Not a problem at all. But until next week, you guys, happy crafting, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.